Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and I know some of you guys asked on a couple of the other videos, how do I cool my hot oxygen after I generate it in my spawn box? So today we're going to be talking about specifically the method of choice I like to use to cool down my oxygen, and that's going to be the radiator cooling box that we have right here. To get it started, what we are doing is running the oxygen pipelines in a zigzag. So we have three separate lines in here going over 12 tiles. That radiant piping, as you see, it's inside of a liquid box that's filled up with polluted water. You would want to fill it up as much as you can. So you want to get close to the full tiles. And honestly, polluted water is the optimal choice in the early game as you're going to always have polluted water from your dupes peeing. Polluted water is actually good because of the freeze point is actually at minus 20, allowing you to go closer to zero. I actually also have an aqua tuner running on a pipeline with polluted water as well. As you can see right here, we have a steam turbine aqua tuner combo. And this is what controls the temperature of the radiator box right here. Our aqua tuner is set to 16 degrees, meaning that our water is getting around 16 degrees, a little bit low. But because of that, we are able to super chill the oxygen that comes through. Another thing we also have in the background is some temp shift plates. These temp shift plates are made out of diamonds, and it's on every other two, just like that. Now, let's talk about how this works and how the oxygen will always get the descent temperature, things you need to look out for because of the materials that you use to build this actually have a huge factor. So one of the things about this is your temp shift plates. The temp shift plates do have properties, but you're going to look for something with good thermal conductivity. I recommend that if you guys don't have diamond, use one of the refined metals, copper, gold, iron, as it's pretty good to use. It's around 60 thermal conductivity, which is a little bit weaker than temp shift plates, but you would want to use that when you guys can. For the radiant gas pipes, these are actually the metal ores. For the most part, this doesn't really matter as a lot of the metal ores for the radiant piping are very close, unless you have steel specifically, but that's a lot of steel that's required. So I'm just using regular copper ore for my radiant pipes. Now the radiant liquid pipes though, actually do matter. If you guys have a very conductive metal for your radiant liquid pipes, I would actually say you could make this design a little bit smaller. Because we're using copper, we have to opt to use 12 tiles for the gas cooling if we actually had aluminum radiant liquid pipes which is about three times more conductive than the copper is you'd actually get away with having only eight tiles of radiant pipe to cool down the oxygen so that means that you could build a smaller box and have the same effects and that's going to be dictated by the materials as you could see though we're using copper radiant pipes copper radiant pipes for gas and with the diamond temp shift plates, this is only 12 tiles per gas line. And of course, you could always set the temperature right here on your temperature sensor by your aqua tuner. But because of how the gas volume, as you can see, each packet at max size in the pipeline, it's only a thousand grams. It's going to go against the 10 kilograms radiant pipeline that's running over the same space. And not only that, what you should do with this design is cool down the liquid medium inside the tank to the desired temperature before you run the oxygen in. But that has been the radiator box. We talked about all the parts of it, the moving pieces, and how the materials you use will affect the size of the design. If you guys don't have some of the materials or don't want to use the materials because maybe scarcity, don't have the abundance of it to actually spend on this, I would recommend building a bigger box if you don't have as conductive materials. But of course, guys, this has been the radiator cooling box that I like to use to cool the oxygen. If you guys have any comments about this, leave a comment down below. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.